a projectile is fired from the edge of a 150 meter cliff with an initial velocity of 180 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. Neglecting air resistance, find the horizontal distance from the gun to the point where the projectile strikes the ground and letter B, the greatest elevation above the ground reached by the projectile. So first, gumawa tayo ng free body diagram. So ito na yun. So our given, ating Y initial, Y is the height, is 150. Our velocity initial or the start kung saan nag-fire yung gun is 180 meters per second. So first nothing hanapin is our horizontal distance x and the greatest elevation which is y max. So first nothing gawin is gamitin yung kinematic equation na to. So in solving our problem, to look for the final horizontal distance of the projectile. So ang final natin na y, since nasa ground na siya ulit, that would mean na balik siya sa zero. Ang initial height ng y natin which is given, 150. Now, in projectile motion, ang horizontal component or yung v not x always yan constant. So, meaning yung mag-change lang is yung v not y. And that is because of the acceleration due to gravity. So, ang v not na to is not the entire v not or v initial. This would mean na v not y ito, 180 sin 30. Since hindi natin alam anong time, so ano ng time natin? t plus 1 half 80 squared. Ang a natin is negative 9 point meter per second squared diba? so 1 half ng negative 9.81 that would mean negative 4.905 t squared so eto na part I think it's better na alam nyo na yan diretso para mas mabilis yung calculations nyo and hindi ka na mag calculate nito ulit so you should memorize that so eto equation na yan na ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So technically, yung c natin dito is 150. Our b is 180 sine 30. Tas our a is negative 4.905. Kuha kayo ng calcul. Tas hanapin nyo yung roots. Or sa long method, which is yung quadratic formula. Ito yun. So technically, you can do algebra with this formula or you can just use the calcul. So, ito yung mga roots ng equation na to. And we're gonna use this time since wala namang time na negative. So, to get the horizontal distance na mag-strike yung projectile, ito yung gagamitin na kinematic equation. So, our final x is unknown. Our x initial is 0. Tapos, the question would be, ano ang v not na to? Since x yung dinideal natin na problem, yung gagamitin natin is yung x component. So, meaning our v naught, which is 180, but ang kanyang x component is 180 cosine 30 times t. So, nahanap na natin ang t, which is 19.89 seconds. Therefore, our x would be 3,100 meters. So now, the next question is the greatest elevation or the y max. So let's get that by using this kinematic equation. Vy squared is equals to v not y squared plus 2ay. So our y component of the velocity final, since y max siya, that's the highest point of the projectile, zero siya based sa definition. Tapos our initial na velocity is ulit 180 sin 30. Tapos squared siya. Ang A ulit is the acceleration due to gravity. So that would be negative 9.81 times our Y which is unknown. So a little bit of algebra. Ang eto, i-transpose ako bilang side. Tapos divide by eto. So our Y would be... 412.84 meters but since we have a y initial and sa formula na to hindi naman kinonsider yung y initial na height so we have to add it so our y max is equals to y initial plus our y na calculated so our y initial is 150 and our y is 412.84 so our y max 
is 562.84 meters. So that's it. The thing about projectile motion problems is a question on which kinematic equation to use and when. And the basic tip for this is you basically have to practice. Kailangan ka talagang mag-practice ng napakaraming problems para alam mo agad kung anong gagamitin. Pero ito yung starting point niya. 